Welcome back everyone to the channel for another video. This is Q50 Beast. Today we'll be taking a look at the 1970 Pontiac Trans Am, the Hot Wheel Edition. I mean, must I say more? Look at this thing. I've been waiting for something like this for a very, very long time and we finally got it. We got something for the drag heads. Forza is reaching out to the drag heads and I love it. I mean, look at this thing. This is a pure race car, a pure 70s race car. The heart and soul of America. Nice, nice pony car. And we're gonna show you what we had to do to make this thing fast. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so over to the conversion. No engine conversions. And we left this thing rear wheel drive just the way it should be. Rear wheel drive. And we made this thing uh, twin turbo. We twin turbo this car. Um, and it's amazing. We got the anti-lags on it. I kind of spoiled that a little bit, but we're doing the anti-lags. As you see here, we got that blow off to get that extra power, keep your fuel in the system. And we did a race intercooler and we also did race brakes, race brakes. Uh, we did the race suspension. I believe the stock is race rally is a no go drift maybe, but we went with the race stock suspension. All right. So moving over to the transmission, we went with the six speed race transmission, a race drive line. And we also went with the race differential, which is stock. All right, we went with the drag tires for this drag build. Uh, the street tires, the Goodyear Eagles look pretty cool, but we're doing a drag car and we went with the drag tires. We did nothing with the front, left them alone and put 345s in the rear to get that power down. Uh, choose the lightest wheels you like. We went with these. The whole shots look really good on these older cars and it's pretty light. We did nothing with the wheel size, left it alone in the front and the rear, 16s. All right, so for the rear track width, we spread it all the way wide just to give it that drag look and left it narrow in the front. This is an amazing looking car. So for the tires, we went 31 and a half in the front and 15 in the rear so we can get that power down. Gears went with 220 gears, 374 first gear, 237 second gear, 169 third gear, 122 fourth gear, 105 fifth gear, and 0 .90 for the sixth and final gear. Alignment, we did nothing with the front, but we zeroed out the rear. Uh, Anti-roll bars, nothing in the front, but 45.5 in the rear for anti-roll bars. We didn't touch the springs at all. And I raised the car up just a little bit, just for aesthetics. You could have left it slammed and it would have been just fine, but I raised it up to give it a more natural look. Nothing with the dampening, front rebound stiffness, bump stiffness, left it alone. Our downforce went all the way speed, front and rear. We did nothing with brake and we did nothing with the differential. Simple and easy launch and we're off to the races. Small little chirp through first gear, four gears through this run and we're rolling down the track. This thing is getting up and down the track. Stock engine 196.49 and a half mile. Pretty good and this is what the car looks like and sounds like from the inside. Pretty cool, I like the little mirror pure race car let's go ahead and launch it here a little bit of spinning through first gear in the first gear that torque kicks in but this thing is amazing just listen to it the mirrors look really good in here the inside just looks really really good we'll go ahead and put this thing in a quarter of a mile see what we can do look at those roll bars this thing looks good simple and easy launch and we're off to the races no spinning this thing is ready primed for racing this thing is moving up and down the track, 173.22 in a quarter of a mile. And this is what the car looks like from the outside. It's just planted. This thing is nice and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you have, please like, share and subscribe. This is Q50 Beast. Peace out.